Okay guys, so this is going to be graphing piecewise functions, uh, example problems, set number one. Okay, so a piecewise function is whenever you have two different portions of uh, two different graphs, okay? It's really, really easy to do. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take the first function, x plus five. We're gonna make a t-chart for it, just like that. Now, we're going to pick values less than negative 2, but I want to include negative 2 on my uh, t-chart, okay? Now, so I'm going to plug in a negative 2. Negative 2 plus 5 is 3, and I'm going to pick values less than negative 2. So negative 3 is 2, negative 4 is 1, and negative 5 is 0, okay? Now, it's important to know that this is not equal to at this point, so this is going to be an open circle. Okay, just so we know what to do there. Okay, now we're gonna take the other portion of the function and we are going to make another t-chart. Okay, and so we're gonna pick values that start at negative two and are greater. So negative two, uh, negative one, zero, one. Okay, and so we can get an idea of what the graph looks like. Okay, so plug in a negative two. Negative 2 times 2 is a negative 4, minus 1 is a negative 5. Negative 1 times negative 2, I mean, sorry, negative 1 times 2 is a negative 2, minus 1 is a negative 3. Okay, 0 times 2 is 0, minus 1, and then 1. Now, it's important to note that there's an equal to sign right here. So, this is going to be closed when we go and graph it. Okay, so, let's negative 2, 3, so the point negative 2, 3 is 1, 2, 3, it's up, and it's going to be clo uh, It's going to be open right there, okay? Negative 3, 2, okay? Uh, negative 4, negative 1, negative 4, 1, sorry, and then negative 5, 0, so it looks like that. So we're going to make it nice and neat, and if you don't have a printer or that sort of thing. If you're working these out by hand, make sure your graphs look nice and neat, okay? Take the time and actually draw it out nice and neat. Uh, now, the other portion of the graph, negative two, negative five. One, two, three, four, five. It's gonna be a closed circle, okay? And the point negative one, negative three. And then we've got the point zero, negative one. And we've got the point one, one. Okay, and if you want to continue the pattern, you can continue the pattern. But my line doesn't look very good. Okay, so it looks something like that. Okay, so we just graphed a piecewise function. Now, what's important about graphing piecewise functions is we can tell that the limit does not exist. And we're going to talk about something called continuity. Um, in a couple lessons, but this is what we call a jump discontinuity because the limit doesn't exist, okay? There's a jump in the graph. Okay, next example problem. We're gonna take two x plus one, and we're gonna start at one, and we're gonna pick values greater than one, okay? So we're gonna pick two, three, four, five, that sort of thing. Uh, and then we're going to do uh, one half x minus 3, and I'm going to pick values for that, okay? So I'm going to plug in a 1. 2 times 1 is 2, plus 1 is 3, 5, uh, 7, 9, and then 11, okay? Now, since there's equal to in the top branch at 1, this is going to be closed, okay? Now, we're going to pick values less than 1, but we have to include 1, okay? So, um, one. So this is 1 half minus 3. Oh, Lord, it's been too long of a day. Uh, 1 half minus 3 is negative 2.5. Okay, uh, plug in a 0. You get negative 3. Um, plug in a 1. A uh, negative 1, sorry. negative 3.5 
and plug in like a negative two. So just so we get an idea of what the graph looks like. So it should be negative four, negative three, negative 4.5. Okay, and this is going to be open because there's no equal to sign at x is equal to one. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna plot the point. So we're gonna start at the point one, three, one, two, three. It's gonna be a closed circle. Uh, two, one, two, one. Okay, so our graph, look, golly, I can draw graphs. Stop. I could draw it better without a. Okay, so that's what our graph looks like. Um, now, the point one and negative 2.5 is gonna be open. So negative 2.5 is right there. Okay, zero, negative three. So zero, negative three is here. Negative one, negative 3.5. Uh, negative two, negative one, two, three, four. So it looks something like that. So this is gonna be an open circle and that's gonna be a closed circle. Can't really tell because the graphs are kind of small. I tried the best I could. Okay, uh, next example problem. So it's the same exact stuff. So we're gonna do two X minus two and we're gonna pick values, we're starting at two, greater than two, through three, four, five, and six. And then we're gonna do negative x plus five, and we're gonna go for x is less than two. Okay, so we're gonna start at two, and we're gonna do one, zero, negative one, that's fine. If you wanna do more points, you can. Negative two. Okay, plug in a two. Two times two is four. Four minus two is two. Three times two is six. Minus two is four. Four times two is eight. Eight minus two is six. Eight and then 10. Now, this is gonna be closed at this point because of the equal to branch up here. Okay, plug in a negative two. Negative two plus five is three, four, five, six, and seven. A negative times a negative gives you a positive, okay? And then this is going to be open like that because of there's no equal to. So if I'm plotting my points, so I'm gonna start at two, two. It's gonna be closed, three, four, so three, one, two, three, four. Something that looks like that. Okay, and then this is gonna be an open circle at the point two, three. So it's gonna be kind of close, two, three. And then it's gonna go one, four, one, two, three, four, zero, five, one, two, three, four, five, negative one, six. Okay, so it'll look something like that extended out that way. Okay, so um, I'm gonna zoom in a little bit so you can see a little bit better. So that's what your graph looks like. Okay, now if I have three branches, well, you still treat it the same exact way as um, you did before, okay? So negative x plus four. Okay, I'm gonna start at zero and I'm gonna pick values less than zero. Okay, and then two thirds x minus one. Oh, that's gonna be fun. Now it says I'm gonna pick values only between zero and five. Okay, so 
zero, one, two, three, four, and five. Okay. Um, and then the line y equals two. Okay. So that's going to be a constant line. So there's not any use in doing a uh, t chart for that. Okay, so if I plug in the point zero, zero, you get four, five, six, seven, and eight. Remember, a negative times a negative gives you a positive. Plug in a point zero, zero, negative one. Uh, two thirds minus one is a negative one third. Two, it's four thirds minus, so it's one third. Three times two thirds gives you a one. Okay, so four, eight thirds, eight thirds minus one. So we're going up by two thirds. So it's five thirds and then seven thirds. Okay, I'm not expecting you to know what these are. I would plot, okay, so we already know that this is going to be, this one's gonna be closed because the equal to sign. This one's gonna be open and then y equals two and this will be closed, okay? So this is gonna be closed because it's equal to at five, okay? So we have to pay attention to these endpoints whenever we're doing uh, more than two, um, two lines in there. Okay, so I don't expect you to, to plot these points, but it's gonna be kind of iffy. Let's try and get the best we can. Um, you know, seven thirds is gonna be uh, a little more than two. So I would plot the good points that you can plot, you know, easily. Okay, so we're gonna go zero, four, one, two, three, four. It's gonna be closed dot, negative one, five, six. Okay, so it's gonna look like this. Okay, and then we're gonna do the point zero, negative one. It's gonna be open. Uh, and I'm gonna plot the point three one. And I'm gonna plot the point five seven thirds. One, two, three, four, five, one, two, a little more like that. So, and it's to be closed. Now there's no arrow for this section because it's just in between uh, zero and five. And then it's gonna be the line y is equal to two for everything greater than uh, five, okay? So it's gonna be open, golly, we probably should have, I don't see how they did this on that worksheet. Okay, so it's gonna be line y is equal to two for x is greater than five. So it's gonna be looking like that, okay? So you have a jump discontinuity here and you also have a jump discontinuity here. Remember that's not two that is gonna be uh, seven thirds, so two and a third, okay? So that's what that graph looks like. And then the last section, it says evaluate the limits using the piecewise function, okay? So you just pretty much gotta locate where uh, your number's at and what branch you're gonna be in, okay? So seven is in the bottom branch, so you're gonna do seven times two and minus one, so you get 13. F of zero. F of zero lives in the top branch, the less than branch, so it's zero plus five is gonna be five. Negative one, negative one lives in the top branch, negative one plus five is equal to four. F of three, okay? Three is defined in the top branch because the equal to sign, so three plus five is equal to eight. Now I want you to evaluate the limit as x goes to three. Okay, so the limit as x goes to three from the negative side and we have to do the limit as x approaches three from the positive side, okay? So the less than branch is always the uh, left-hand branch, okay? So I'm gonna plug in a three into the top branch, three into the top branch. So three plus five is equal to eight. I'm gonna plug a three into the bottom branch, okay? So that's gonna be the greater than branch coming from the right. Three times two, is six, six minus one is five. Okay, so since the left-hand limit and the right-hand limit do not equal each other, 
the limit does not exist. Okay, so the limit as x approaches three does not exist. So we talked about that last week, uh, doing limits, the left-hand limit and the right-hand limit. Okay, so this has been graphing piecewise functions, set number one. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out. Thanks, bye.